Hello, my friends, and welcome to this pick a card reading where I'll be looking at your question, whatever it may be, and we're looking at being, it being answered with a yes or a no. Um, so pick your pile, pile one, pile two, and pile three. Timestamps will be in the description box below, and I'll see you at your reading. Hi, pile one, welcome to your reading. So... Um, this is looking at whether the answer to your question is a yes or a no. Um, I've pre-picked some oracle cards, so let's have a little look. We've got abundance in the reverse. We've got sight. We've got the new moon in reverse. We've got the pathless. Okay, right. Serendipity, bright new horizon, bright new prospects on the horizon, and it was reversed. We have coherence, and then we also have allowance as well. Now, let me just see if you can see that. Yeah, I don't know. I've adjusted the camera, so it's a little bit weird. Bear with me one second while I just adjust this. So I hope that's a bit better and you can see that. So from the first off, I'm getting an an immediate no, but a possible yes. That's what I'm saying. I'm feeling um, like as in later. It's a delayed yes, um, but it's right for now. It's a no. Um, we've got the moon reversed. Yeah, there's some things that you need to find out first. There's some things that you just don't know about it. Particularly with that new moon reversed as well. Okay, we've got the nine of swords. It's causing you a bit of grief and you may be quite disappointed about what's going on. And it's kind of destabilizing your, your energy as well. Um, Ten of pentacles. Wheel of Fortune, well, wow, this is pretty much the energy I was feeling with this. It was Wheel of Fortune reversed. So, I don't know, I'm feeling like you're really disappointed that it hasn't happened yet. Um, and there was a lot of expectations onto this kind of uh, thing coming to fruition. Um, the expectations might have been really high and you might have been feeling some kind of intensity in the respects of you know actually wanting this thing to happen you know sometimes when we place something so kind of um when we place so much importance onto something it really does um kind of stop us from achieving what we want to achieve um the pathless is not being able to kind of like have some kind of di direction um, this was actually reversed when I picked it out um, and I don't usually tend to read these reversed but it's interesting. It's almost like the disappointment that is happening right now um, with, it, with this thing not coming to fruition, um, which I've got a feeling is to do with finances, is disallowing you to be able to have some kind of abundance come towards you. You need to take a step back and consider a new direction in this respect. That's what this pathless card is saying. It's kind of like wandering on this, like, like almost meandering on this kind of path. Um, if you are asking about a financial situation, which is the first thing that kind of came up, um, I think that right now you may have done something that the timing wasn't right um something didn't take root the yeah the timing just didn't come at the right time or the path that you took um didn't work out um it wasn't it wasn't yeah it doesn't it doesn't seem like it's it feels like a no in this case but we did have a coherence and allowance upright so that says to me that you've got an ability to be able to understand what you did wrong and change it. Um, it's just allowing yourself to see that. With this Son of Wands here, there is definitely an opportunity for you to change that immediately. 
um, as long as you don't let your emotions get in the way. And if you focus too much on the disappointment, then it's going to stop you from being able to achieve your goals. Um, but I do, I do see it like it's a delay. A delay. There's things that you don't see. And I also feel like you may have competition as well. If you're asking about... Um, let me just think, hold on. Is there anything else left to say really about a... Money. Um... Yeah, let me just have a look with some other cards to clarify these. The moon. Got the two of wands. The six of wands reversed. Yeah. The ten of wands. The nine of the eight of cups reversed. The ace of cups reversed. Judgment. Yeah, there's there's a calling to make a change about this. Okay, and then you've got an extra card. So you've got the knight of interesting. Wow. You got the knight of wands being clarified by the reverse knight of wands. That's really interesting. And the four of wands. Okay. Can you see this? If I pop that there, yeah, because the cards are small. <laughs> so, um, yeah, wow, okay. I think people are jealous of your ambition, to be honest with you. I think, in, and this is in a business perspective, I'll move on to, um, the other perspectives in a minute but like in in the respect of um business you know you worry about not being successful and it's almost like the worry of you not being successful causes you not to be on a straight path um there may be a mindset that you can't walk away from. So, for example, if like you'd started up a business with someone and you'd put your heart and soul into it and then that person has gone and now you're left kind of like running the space or running the business. Um, and now you don't know whether or not you can walk away. There's, an, there's a big emotional attachment to this. Um, but it, I don't know. I've just got a feeling like there's something about the money that's uh, not really like it's draining you it's really draining you to kind of keep up this idea of what you think that financially or, or it, the possibility of this actually reaping some kind of financial reward may give you um and this is a chance for you to change things um Or if you do stick to it, which is why I said it was a no initially, but a yes um, afterwards, that if you do decide to stick to it, it's going to take some time. It's going to take some time. But no matter what decision you make, you will have some kind of success. It will make you, it will make you happy. But it will be a long road because um, you've got this ten of wands here. So that's going to, it's going to be a long slog in that respect um in staying and doing it Le if you like i don't yeah if you leave this thing and start again it still will be quite you know quite intense so you're kind of stuck in that respect um so it's really up to you whether or not you want to move on with this project or not in the respect of but right now is it going to bring you immediate returns no it's not long term Possibly, yeah, probably actually, um, but it will take some slog, as as will like moving away um, from this. But then that's a different question, isn't it? Um, if you're asking me, should I carry on with this business or whatnot? Um, then I would say probably no long, no short term. Yes, long term. It depends how long term you've got, you know. 
but if you were saying about like how and the, but also we would have to go into a personal reading for that but if you were to look at whether or not this and it's always about how you frame the question as well so like yes it like if, if you were gonna um yeah it's all about how you frame the question sorry so if you were gonna say should I, is this business or is my business going to give me the short term, like immediate, you know, future, immediate kind of money right now? The answer is no, but eventually, yes, that would be the answer here. So, so that, that's on a financial level. Um, so immediately for financial um, kind of uh, questions, no, but long term, probably more than likely it will do, but it be, it will involve some intense stuff you'll have you you'll have to like it will be quite a mind fuck because there's a lot that you don't know do you know what i mean um whereas like if you were asking about love um i would say if you if your question is related to love i'd say no i'd say no because um I don't see anything that's really going to tell me that there is anything to do with any kind of loving feelings here. There's something about you recalibrating yourself um, after being in a sense of not of losing your sight of something and not being able to see where you're going, particularly with the new moon reversed and with the moon reversed. That means there's other stuff happening. If there is, like, um, if you do... If, you, if this is a love-related question, I would really consider whether or not you are looking at something with rose-tinted glasses. Oh, my gosh. I, I heard this really good... I mentioned Bojack Horseman the other day in one of my readings. And I came across this brilliant quote which said, If you wear rose-tinted glasses, all the flags look the same colour. They don't look red. Like, you can't see the colour of the flags. So that's kind of what I'm getting from here. Um, so this is a calling for you to, like, realise, because, I don't know, it seems to me like this person might be blowing a bit hot and cold. Um, you know, there may have been, like, an initial thing of where you thought that it was amazing that you met this person or whatever, or you might think it might be some kind of, like, you know, a really, really good relationship, but then something's gone completely cold. That's how I see that here. Um, that's in an emotional context. Um, and relationship context. If you're asking about um, yourself and about a situation that's happening with yourself, similar to the um, similar to the financial constraints, uh, the financial um, angle, I would say that yeah, you. I would say that this is a no. <laughs> yeah, this is a no. <laughs> I would say no. Um, not right now. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff here, a lot of emotional attachment, uh, thinking about things too much, getting too emotionally involved, and it's almost like there's a blockage on this wheel of fortune. Things are out of balance here, so that would be a no. So the overall, I would say for this pile, pile one is no, with an incentive of a yes at a later time, but it will take a lot of time. Um, and it will be difficult. It will be difficult. You've got a nine and a 10 here. So like, not to say that the 10 is always difficult, but um, when it's clarified with this, with this five of cups, it's pretty intense. And then you've also got the mother of cups here as well. So, so part one, I hope that that answered your question. Let me know. Let me know what you think. Um, and if it did resonate, please do give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe for more videos. But otherwise, um, I'll see you in the next reading. Bye. Hi, Pearl 2. Welcome to your reading. So, we've got some interesting cards for you. Sorry, I did that in the wrong way, actually. <laughs> um, this is Pile um, 2. Um, so, let's have a look at what you've got. Um, you've got quite a few. So, let's see. You've got Water, Reversed. You've got the Stars, Reversed. And you've got the Wizard, Upright. So here it says, 
emotions are at their peak water reversed okay then you've got a long journey brings rewards reversed and the wizard use your skills to aid others upright you've got passion upright you've got integration you've got the scholar actually i want to put that there that's where they were before right there form oh i like that memory repression and presumptuousness are those like squids with corsets oh my god they're octopi with corsets that's amazing i um, <laughs> love that i love that and leo well off the bat i can kind of this is a like i think this is a, di a disguised yes pile too this is a disguised yes um <clears throat> because it kind of like i think you might have gone a bit loopy if you didn't know what the answer was <laughs> you might have been like what's going on is it gonna happen but i can feel it's definitely gonna happen i think yeah it's a disguise like it looks like a no but actually it's a yes it actually just happens you know um and i think I'm, I'm getting career initially but if you are looking to start up your own business or something like that or looking um about changing your job or something like that um i would say that you are definitely um moving towards something that is with your passion is definitely something that is going to be a yes so yeah i see this as a yes following your passion yes and then the scholar so it might be that you've asked am i going to is am i like on the right path with uh, my study choice uh in the respect of maybe what i'm considering with my studies um in terms of if, if this is the right subject to be studying or maybe the subject title or whatever the answer is yes go because it seems like it's something that's passionate and it won't be as um arduous as you think it won't be as yeah it won't be as arduous it won't be as intense it won't be as uh i wouldn't say i i don't know i think it will it might test your patience it might test your emotions um but i don't think i don't think it will be really that long <laughs> i think it will be more short than you think and i think the most important thing is is just making sure that it's very it's in a form Okay, let's have a look at what the cards have to say. Justice. You're doing this in the right way. This is the this is exactly what's meant to happen. Yeah. This is a yes all the way so far. Yeah, definitely. The emotions need to be sorted out here okay for yep 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 this is a yes this is a yes okay so i will say that um financial stability might be something that might be you know you might <laughs> might be i wouldn't say i wouldn't go as far as saying bankrupt but you might be a little bit poorer at the end of this um but um i do see a yes this is a yes um if you're looking at financial something financial yes if you're looking at um something emotional um in respect of a relationship i would say yes but i would say don't expect anything like expect more coming from you than i would from the other person um if this is to do with like a love relationship um i would this would be more about how this changes you rather than it changing them um, and your passion and drive, not towards them, but in your own life, will be really important here. Um, but it also may be like you may not... 
I mean, you know, for example, like, is everything going to go smoothly with my marriage? Um, that that might be an interesting emotional question to ask. As long as you just go for your dreams and organize yourself really well, um, yeah, um, it will do. But I mean, that's the same with like most weddings, right? Or whatever. But I don't know, I just got the analogy because we've got justice and then we've also got the nine of pentacles reversed, which says to me kind of like the end of singledom. Um, so, and then you've also got the four of cups reversed, which tells me that there's like some kind of divine and the three of wands. So there's lots of plans going on here. And, and I just see like this kind of, you know, this kind of creation of love. The only thing I would say is that this, this is going to test you as weddings do. So like that, that would be an example. It could be a big emotional journey. And it's interesting how we have, we, we have a picture of a ship with a massive heart on it and it's sailing in the water. And then we have these dolphins and these dolphins are here as well. So it might be that you are having to navigate people in an emotional situation and that's going to test you as well or you might be having to navigate somebody who's emotionally challenging in that respect as well but it, you will win out you will for sure this could even be like with you taking care of someone um but um as long as you're organized and you are very true to yourself and your own values that's going to be that's going to be really helpful really helpful um but yeah, the answer is yes. It's a very positive yes. So we've got the Knight of Cups here again. Wow, so you've got Page of Cups and Knight of Cups. Yeah, lots of emotions here. Um, in respect to yourself and about what you, you want to do, um, I would say, yeah, go for your passions. Go, whatever it is, go for your passion. Your passion is going to be the thing that drives you. Because people are going to follow your example, um, whoever's around you. Um, they're going to see what you're doing and they're going to use it as um, some kind of... They're going to use it as some kind of like... I don't know, some kind of like uh, education and how they should do things. You're going to... You're a path maker, it looks like here. you It's almost like you teach others how to act within a situation rather than them just, you know, going across. Okay, I don't know if this is going to be a wedding because we've got the two of cups and the lovers reversed. So I don't know. I don't know. Um, interesting. Interesting. Yes or no? I think um, some people might not agree with your decision if it's on an emotional level. They might not have. Agree they might not agree with your choice because they're not being chosen. You've got two knights here. You might have a. You might have a competition of two people. Wow, five of ones. Yeah. <laughs> it might even be friends though as well. Um. If this is a financial situation, a financial situation, you have to go with your heart. You have to go with your heart. Because no matter what choice that you make, you still will be not choosing something. And it's that that will be, you know, that's what's... I mean, there's also like this thing where people... I don't know, people might be thinking that you might want to end things or break things up, but it's interesting. It's interesting how we have justice and then we have the two of cups. It might also be... Maybe it might also be the other way around. Like, should I, should I go ahead with this divorce? Yeah. This answer would still be yes. The answer would still be yes. Um... Because you have to make a clear decision for yourself, you know. This is a striving towards independence. So, what is interesting with these two reversed, but we do have these two knights. So this is independence. This is real independence. It may even be that you are striving towards your independence because before you didn't feel that you were... You were, um, you were free. 
There's something that you need to be free of. And with this tower up right here, I see this as a very good thing. It may be about emotionally, it could be a third party situation. It could be. It could be. It could be like you have to make the choice between two people. So, yeah. But if that's the case, emotionally, uh, business... Uh, personal, if you're looking on a personal level, this is about you making a choice for yourself and about what you truly love. Um, the answer is yes. Yes, pile two. Let me see if there's anything else that you need to know. You've done your homework in this respect. You know what to do. It's almost like you've rehearsed it. You've you've looked at it. You understand the way that things are. And I mean, it, what's interesting here, we've got repression and we've got presumptuousness. So there may be like, you know, and, and, and this octopus is not meant to be in a corset and it's in a corset. There's coral in the corset as well. I, you know, and that's a very restrictive thing. Whereas, like, passion is free. You know, you, the octopus needs to be free. Um, you've also got integration here as well, which is about how you can integrate your passions and what you love and what you've learned into your situation. You may, I mean, what I'm seeing here is that by you following your passions is that you may lose things. You may lose things. And this isn't necessarily like, even though we do have the two like main kind of partnership cards here, in terms of the court cards, I'm not seeing a male and a female energy, which tells me about the two dynamics. This is telling me about you making a choice between two things. And you decide not to go with the thing that you've been with. Like, I don't know, it, it seems like if there's a new thing or a or a younger thing, or a newer thing that is there, the choice is to go with them. And it's interesting because the lovers reversed probably would say it is a no. But with everything else here, particularly with this, this, these cards here, and these as well, right? Not so much the tower. But then do you remember at the beginning I said it might be a disguised no? So it might be initially, that was the thing that I got. It might seem like a no, but actually it's a yes. So yeah. If this is to do with like a project or something like that, um, it might seem that if you go ahead with it, um, things might be against you, but actually they're in your favour. They are in your favour. It's just going to take, take some time. Take some time. But I, I do see a clear yes here. Yeah, I do. I do. Even though there is some major cards that are no. Um, and this as well. More is giving me the thing of yes. Yeah. Okay, well, Pile 2, I hope that helped. Let me know your thoughts in the comments if you like this reading um, and like it. Um, but otherwise, you take care, good luck, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hi, Pile 3. Welcome to your reading. Yes or no? What's the answer? Okay, so let's have a look. We've got fertility and it's reversed. Okay. And then we've got space. Right. The gate, a barrier keeps you from your goal. You got the quarter moon, first quarter moon reversed, which is challenges, decisions, actions, growth, balanced. What does that say? Measured, be flexible, good for celebrating and charting progress, magician. Reversed. We've got concentrativeness and language. A 
and we have the poet The I, this initially I've got a no that's coming into my head, but we'll have to have a look with the cards a bit with the tarot a bit. It's almost like there's a delay on this. Um, there's something to do with yeah with the delay. Um, let me just read what this fertility card says. Um, the frequency of fertility invites us to be more open, courageous, more creative and more joyful than we are before. It activates the potential for something beautiful to grow from our consciousness and a new grand expressions of ourselves. If this is a love question, it's a no. Um, or I think that there is something that needs to happen. There's definitely like space. There's definitely something that needs to um, kind of happen before it comes to a yes. It's not an inevitable no. I think it's a, I think it's right now, no. Right now, no, which was kind of the same for part one, I think. Yeah, but it was it was a little bit different. That's all the tower has to say. So yeah, I'm getting a no here. Page of Wands. Page, uh, sorry, Judgment. Interesting, Judgment came up for Pole. These, these came up for Pole. One as well. Um, page of pen, um, Pentacles. Six of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Four of Swords. <coughs> There's a delay on this. <coughs> Too many. Strength. Seven of Cups, yeah, definitely, I'm feeling that. Yeah, there's some idealism here that's going on here. So maybe you're dreaming it. I don't know, right, now, for those of you who believe in the law of attraction, right, do you know how it really works? Because make sure that you've, you're have um, you clued up on how it works, like properly. If you want something to happen, if you are looking for a love relationship and trying to adjust free will, I would be really cautious about that. Um, but otherwise, if you are, say, for example, I would just review your ideas about the law of attraction if you are looking at that. You can't just think something into existence. You just can't think it. You have to do actions. So you can't just have wild dreams about it. Um, there needs to be more that has to be done in order for you to understand. Like, if you think that, say, for example, okay, so we've got about love and you're trying to, like, manifest someone back into your life, there's some work that needs to be done here. Um, there's quite an immature kind of attitude towards it that needs to be grounded in some kind of reality. Also, there's a sense of codependency that's happening here and something needs to change in order for that to... Like say, for example, if you were in a codependent relationship and you were wanting someone to come back to you, um, this person doesn't really, I don't, I don't see them really wanting to, to move anywhere. It's actually that there's a period of rest and stasis, particularly here. And I don't know, with this black and gold kind of image, and then we've got these kind of like, particularly with this four of swords, it's like this kind of like gated way that's happening. And this is a call to you to, to, to really recognise what it is that you're doing about certain things. And also with this um, poet, there's something that's not... The ground is not fertile for this to take root. That's what I'm feeling. Um, first quarter is also reversed. So then that means that something that has not... Like what you thought or what you put into effort or what, what effort you had taken, it doesn't seem to be... It doesn't seem to be like the right effort. It does, you know, but I mean, not that you knew, right? So, for example, if you were planting a seed or planting a garden, 
and then and then some things just don't grow it's like that kind of thing um so it's all about going back and seeing what it is maybe you needed to put more nutrients into the earth maybe you needed to give the right thing maybe it didn't have the right container things like that basically um if this is a financial uh, question um i would say that the time no no the time is not right at the moment um the strategy that's going on at the moment is not is not really um there's something that needs to take place there's some kind of space or something that needs to happen um and also the dynamic needs to change as well like i think that this dynamic here is almost like you know it's 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 putting you in a space where you feel that you're in a space of lack and that's not something that is congruent with being able to build something in a big way or or you know it doesn't promote a fertile thing um it promotes more of a like a donation kind of vibe thing yeah let me see what these cards have to say wheel of fortune reversed yeah it just isn't the right time you may have felt it was a good time but it's not uh ace of swords reverse somebody may speak to you and tell you that some kind of like cutting truth about this interesting the magician I feel, right, that in you not getting this, you will make some kind of opportunity happen for yourself. Yeah, I think so. So even by me saying this no, you might think, okay, what is it that I need to do? What is it that I need to, like, recalibrate? And you'll take the time to think about how you can open that gate. Seven of Swords. And then we have the Nine of Swords reversed. And then we have the Eight of Wands reversed. So, yeah, there's something that you... I don't know if you know that you're being honest with yourself about. Um, and once you realise this, um, then things will change very drastically. I think they'll change very quickly. Um, so for now, yeah, this way is a no. Um but but this i don't know like you know with the law of attraction you have depending on what kind of language that you use um is very indicative of how things work out so for example i try to avoid the word try because you don't try something that you know that you're going to do you always just do it like unless you're sick right you don't say i'm gonna try and go and pee right you go and pee or you go to the toilet we say oh, unless you're sick i'm gonna try and eat but otherwise oh i'm gonna go and eat now you know what i mean you, you just you don't say oh, i'm gonna try and do it and that always and if we look at the language that we use in particular that's very very like very important within the law of attraction and whether or not we're creating like a fertile enough ground or soil for us to really take root um for, for the for the ideas and what we want to take root um what i'm seeing here is a rethinking of the strategy that has been used to approach this which is why it's almost like the the kind of the kind of rejection that happens before the uh the yes because with this saw with this strength and then also this eight of wands i, I think you're really going this is really going to be an eye-opening experience this no be it in love be it in family situations or um, emotional situations with yourself or be it with business 
or career. I think this, this no is going to really empower you. Wow. Wow, Paul. Um, uh, Paul 3. I think that's everything I have for you. Let me just see if there's anything else. I forgot to time this reading. Um, let me just see. Yeah, you might get but you might get a bit cut up about it not happening, but I think it's almost like a blessing in disguise. Almost. Yeah, I think that's it. I hope you enjoyed that reading, Paul Three. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you did like this reading, please do give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe for more videos. But otherwise, my darlings, thank you so much for your attention and I hope you have a beautiful day. Lots of love. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.